Many people think that going to college is the only way to create success, but in the 21st century, a lot of people have realized that college is not the ultimate answer. So today's video, we're gonna talk about, is it really worth it to go to college? Is it really not worth it to go to college? We're gonna discuss that today, and you can make an educated decision whether it's a fit for you or not, okay? So now, when it comes to college, right, I gotta tell you something. I went to college for a little bit. I didn't graduate. I think I dropped out like at the fourth semester and I was like, you know what, this is not for me. But a lot of people go to college and there's a lot of reasons why you wanna maybe go to college, right? Now, a lot of people think that going to college will set them up for you know financial success. A lot of people think that going to college will get them the right you know, networking and meet the right people and maybe get the right connections, whatever it may be. But at the end of the day, the way I look at college is this. You see, I'm a multimillionaire, humbly saying that in this video, but I did not finish college. As a matter of fact, I'm a college dropout. And last night, me and my fiance were actually going over some of my report cards in high school and she was like how the hell did you even graduate because you went through nine schools right and to me I have no idea how I graduated high school I barely made it through the system and I went to college because you know the foster care system the group home system actually paid me to go to college and I did that because they paid me but in reality did I really learn anything from college I don't even remember a word from college the only thing I remember is that I went there and I did not like any minute of it. By the way, I didn't go to this ex extreme expensive college. I went to a community college in New York City. And at the end of the day, going to college in a, you know, a smaller setting compared to maybe where you're going, maybe, you know, Pace, maybe, you know, uh, 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 Cornell or even Harvard, right? Maybe there's a good reason to go to those colleges. But in reality, you've got to look at it this way. What is a college? A college is a business in my opinion, and a lot of people have been going to college for many, 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 many years, and the only person getting richer is the actual colleges. If you look at statistics and look at some of the data that's been given out, every single couple of years, colleges have been doubling, tripling, quadrupling, and 10xing their uh, you know, expense for the, you know, the tuition, and many people's incomes have not been going up by that much. So if you look at college prices back in the 1970s and look at people's incomes, there's a huge disparity with where it is today and where it was now, right? That's very, very challenging to see because a lot of people go to college and they put themselves into massive amounts of debt, hoping that somehow, some way, they're gonna get a good qualified job to be able to pay for that. Now, my job is not to convince you whether college is a good idea or now college is a good idea. That's for you to decide, but I'm gonna give you some of the facts, okay? If you look at a lot, a lot of the su successful people, right? Some of them go to college, some of them didn't go to college. So you can't really say college is a bad thing, right? But when it comes to the ROI, you gotta look at it this way. If you're going to school for liberal arts, as an example, okay, what do you expect it to make when you come out of college? Okay, let's just say it's $50,000, okay? If you're expected to make $50,000 and you're gonna spend $25,000 a year for four years and spend $100,000, is it really worth it to spend $100,000 to make 50 grand a year? That may be a good question to ask. And remember, when you spend that 100 grand, it's not cash out of your pocket, it's usually in student loans, and that's gonna put a huge debt onto your income, and you're not paying 100, by the way. It's not, you're not gonna be paying 100, you're gonna be probably paying closer to 200, right? Because there's interest, there's all these fees, shmi, all the stuff, because the bank gotta make their money too, right? So in reality, is it really worth it to spend 100, 200,000 dollars just to make 50 grand a year? Because that's really the statistic of what happens when you go to college. When you go to college, okay, and you go out there, you're not gonna make no 150 grand a year. Not a lot of people do that, especially if it's a basic, you know, bachelor's in liberal arts, whatever it may be. Now, if you wanna become a doctor, a lawyer, a, you know, phys a, a physicist or an engineer. I hope you go to college and I hope you get some training in that information because I want you to do very good and very well in what you're doing, okay? Because I don't want to go to a doctor that never went to college. But at the end of the day, does a doctor really need to know how social studies work? Does a doctor really need to know, you know, how to, pick, you know, how to draw a, a picture? No, you need to know about music and Beethoven? I don't think so. But they wanna make you a well-rounded individual and that really is, to me, it's just a waste of money. A lot of doctors spend a lot of money to go to college and they don't even see a return on their investment until 15 years later, right? It's crazy because they gotta spend four years in college, four years in residency, two years in watching a doctor and doing all this stuff. By the time they're a doctor, now they start making money, now they're trying to, you know, they're 30 years old, trying to make a little bit of a living, and now they have all these student loans they gotta pay for, right? So you gotta look at the information and do the ROI and say, is it worth it for what I'm trying to accomplish? And what is the statistic of someone in my career going to be making once they come out of college? Next, education-wise, right? Are you gonna learn anything in college, okay? You may. Are you gonna learn things you don't need to learn? Absolutely. There's gonna be art classes and music classes and when you're trying to be an engineer. Like, do you really need that? You gotta look into that. And you're gonna spend four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars for a textbook that is the 15th edition because the 
school wanted to add three letters into that freaking book. So you got to keep spending every single semester a brand new, you know, edition, and you can't use, you know, your friend's old edition, right? So that's the problem with education. It's a big business, in my opinion, right? And you can make the decision for yourself that they literally make you buy all these books, buy all this material, and you're literally asked out by spending all this money. Remember, education, if I was, listen, if I wanted to start a business, I wouldn't get into solar. <laughs> I wouldn't get into sales. I would get into the education business, right? I would open up a school and make millions of millions of dollars because that's what these schools are doing and they are lasting. If you think about all the lasting industries, I mean, schools have been here for a very long time, okay? Utility companies, schooling system, like those companies have been there for a while, and insurance companies. They've been around for many, many years, okay? No matter what happens to the economy, they're always somehow stuck there, right? So you gotta look at the education. Will you learn something from that system? In my opinion, if you don't go to college, where are you gonna learn this stuff? Well, you got Udemy, you got courses online. I literally rather pay $5,000 to an expert in a field and say, here, teach me what you know for the next three months or two days or two weeks or whatever it costs than spend $50,000 and go to college to learn from a professor that never really cracked the book open or never even really what? Had the experience or did anything in that field. I remember going to college and the first couple of months I was taking business classes and I asked the professor, did you ever own a business? And they said, no, I managed a business. So I got a guy who managed the business teaching me how to open up a business. That is financial suicide and it's scary. It's the blind leading the blind. Can you imagine that? And that's why I quickly realized that college wasn't for me. Next, look at the future. Okay, if you're gonna go to college, what are some of the paying, jo like, what are the paying jobs out there? See, I didn't go to college and there's no like real school for sales, but like I've made way more money in my humble but accurate opinion than most people that have all these degrees. And you gotta really think about it. Is it really worth it? What are you trying to accomplish? If you're trying to be successful and rich and have a lot of money, then you don't really necessarily have to go to school. You need the skill set. That's what you really need, right? The schooling system and the education system we have now is not going to give you that skill set. You need to learn it from a person that has experience. Because I rather learn from someone that has experience than someone that is teaching out of a book. And you gotta look at that. What is the future money you wanna make? Do you wanna make 100 grand a year? Do you wanna make 200 grand a year? Do you wanna make 500 grand a year? Do you wanna make a million? And look into that and say, okay, out of all this, you know, the statistics, all the people that wanna be, let's say, an, you know, an engineer, and I wanna make 300 grand a year, that's, what you're, that's your goal, do they have to go to college or is, is there a way for me not to go to college and just pay someone to teach me that information, like an apprenticeship? And you gotta look at that data. For me, when it comes to being a business owner, I say, hey, there's no way in hell I'm gonna go to college because I'm not gonna learn anything from that. I'd rather learn from a business owner and an entrepreneur, which is what I did, and I had mentors to guide me in that process because I learned way more from them because they had the failures and they had the successes to teach me when he's to get done and when he's not to get done, right? So it's very important to look into the future and say, okay, do I wanna live like this person? How do they do it? And if you gotta, you gotta follow their footsteps and learn from that individual, okay? Next, you may say, Michael, going to college is a good thing. You're gonna network with people. I said, okay, great, listen. Networking is very important. If you go to Harvard, that may be the only real thing that you may actually you know, benefit by going to Harvard. But if you really think about it this way, Harvard during COVID, they shut down everything, right? They shut down everything. Every school was shutting down. They had these Zoom classes. And you just start thinking to yourself, wait a minute, I'm still paying the same tuition as I was as if I'm going there. So what benefit do I really have if I'm gonna be paying this amount. Like, what's the purpose? Because you can network now through Zoom. You can network in groups. There's all kinds of groups out there and social media. Like, you just go out there and meet people, talk to people. So you don't have to necessarily pay $250,000 just to network, right? There's some amazing networks that are free sometimes. You wanna, you know, listen, you wanna network with some great people, go to business events and spend $5,000 on a ticket, $10,000 on a ticket to be in the front seat to network with some of the people that have made that investment with you. Right? And that's a great way to network. So you don't necessarily have to go to college to start networking because that's not the only place where people congregate, right? So if you don't go to college, you could still, you know, come out with some great network. Because I have some amazing people I've met outside of college. Oh, by the way, they're friends with me forever, right? And they're awesome, awesome, awesome individuals, right? The next thing you might say, Michael, listen, I want to go to college. I want to have a lot of fun. I want to learn how to drink beer upside down. Awesome. If that's your goal and you want to learn how to drink beer upside down and meet some girls and meet some guys, then maybe college may be a good fit for you. I'd rather you spend 50000 on that than spend $50,000 in the casino and lose it all. That may be a good idea for you, but for me, I was like, listen, I'm going to have fun a little bit differently. My fun is not learning how to drink beer upside down. My fun is to travel the world and do with people that I respectfully serve, respectfully you know, love to be with, and that's the kind of fun that I want to have. But if you're going to college, you might say, listen, <laughs> that's the fun I want to have. God bless your soul, okay? Next, time. For me, this was the scariest thing, okay? I looked at how much money I wanted to make and I looked at some of the careers that I had to go into. And by the way, I was so confused. I had no idea what college I wanted to go to, what I wanted to do with my life. I was so lost and confused. And I just picked like, like this, I wanted this. Uh, 
international business marketing. I had no idea what it was. I still to this day have no idea what the f it means. I have no idea, but I knew that it was this. I was like, damn, that's a lot of time. I looked at being a doctor, engineer, all these different things. I'm like, damn, I can't do this for eight years because I don't have the patience, right? No pun intended on the doctor stuff, right? But I did not have the patience to go out there and do six, seven, eight, nine years of learning a craft and making zero dollars in that process. Because to me, I wanted to make money. I wanted to be successful as soon as possible. And I just didn't have the patience to go out there and study and cross my fingers and I'll hope that somehow I was going to make it. So you got to look into the, into the information. You got to look at the career yourself. You got to look at the math and do the math yourself. It's okay. Is it really worth it to go to college? What is the ROI? What is the educational system going to teach me? Am I going to get a benefit from it or not? You know, and don't listen to mommy and daddy because mommy and daddy always say, you need to go to college. That's not necessarily true. Remember, it all depends on what you're trying to accomplish. If you're trying to be a successful entrepreneur, maybe college is a waste of time. If you want to be a physicist, maybe college is an amazing time for you because you're going to learn some stuff about being a physicist, right? It all depends on what you're looking to do. And you have to look into the future of who is in your industry, in your field, and, see, and say to yourself, okay, do I want to live like them? Do I want to do the work that they're doing? Do I want to go out there and, and, and kind of follow their path or no? Okay, you got to look at, you know, the networking side, you know, do you want to network in the school system or do you want to network in the out and about? You got to make that choice and decision. Do you want to have fun in the, in the schooling system and learn how to drink beer upside down? Or do you just want to have fun in a different manner, right? And last thing you want to also look at is what? Time. How much time is it going to require from your life? Because the one thing you cannot buy, the one thing every rich person would love to have more of is time. So don't kill your youth from 18 to 24, wasting it just because mommy and daddy told you to go to college. So I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Hopefully this made some sense to some of you guys. The only reason why I'm making this video because a lot of young people need to see this information because I myself was 18, 19 years old, 22 years old, 25, and I was like, there's got to be a way where I can learn some of this stuff for free. And by the way, you guys are going through college right now, okay, and it's free. You spend zero dollars on it. Okay, so I appreciate you guys. Do me a favor, subscribe down below, like and comment, and we'll see you guys in the next video.